Hello, everybody, and welcome back to D and D Devotion. So, uh, gear. Has everyone bought all their gear? Yeah. Yeah. And that's finished. All right, you're still. Buying. I was able to buy one thing, and that is rope nice. for one gold. Nice. Wait, how much do you have? I had sixty to start, and then I bought a crossbow and armor, and daggers, right? And daggers and quarrels for my crossbow. Hey. I'm a simple man. All I need is flowers for my lady and a song in my heart. <laughs> like in flowers in people's gardens, right? Yep. <laughs> so, uh, Trump has bought, what did you get for all of your gear? I got a chain mail, I got a glaive, and I got a longbow, as well as various adventuring stuff uh, that a smart fighter would use, such as caltrops and rope. Cool. So, uh, we all have to pick names. I know this is the moment we've all been dreading, because no one's ah! thought about names yet. Quick, to a name generator. <laughs> we gotta get names, and then we gotta get backstories. And I think that's it. I think that's it. We, I guess our last name should be the same, Bree. I didn't know that wizards had a name generator. This might be fake, but anyway, I'm gonna use it. Wizards? Yeah, Wizards of the Coast. Mm. Yeah, I looked up an elf one. Seriously. Ew, these are... This is, I do not like this name. It's U-D-O-I-C-E. Udoice? That's a horrible sounding word. Udois? Udois? That one gives you like a ton of different ones at once. Chat, I will take your suggestions for my name as well. I will just... <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> yeah, see, it's a horrible name. I will take suggestions for, like... Like, you know that hot musician that, like, is kind of misunderstood and, like, kind of quiet and you, like, don't know why you're drawn to him? But he's, like... He's kind of soft but edgy, you know? It's, like, kind of a tortured artist. And he just like only has eyes for this one girl, even though you're like madly in love with him, but he's never gonna break up with her. That's who you gotta name. <laughs> okay, I bought a bunch of small things. Portobello. Like the mushroom. Elden. Ooh, that's good. Kanye, no. <laughs> Although that is really funny. Actually, that's really funny. <laughs> Kanye the elf bard. Caden <laughs> is cute. Namastesia. That sounds kind of more feminine. But I like the namaste. Zelfar sounds like an alien. Bustamante. I don't know what that's... Bodie McBoatface. Hey. This is not, this is not Seaborn. <laughs> Haver, Engelbert, Grayson, that's my godson's name. Xanti, Elnea, Baldred, Zayden. Zayden's kind of cool. That's pretty that's edgy. Good. And maybe my name wasn't even Zayden, but that's like my stage name. I go by Zayden because it sounds cool. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah, my so name's actually like Tom. 
Zayden sounds like a Disney movie, like, teen heartthrob. Doesn't it? Yep. I'm gonna type some of these in chat so I don't forget. Zayden. What was the other one I liked? Caden? Valdrith, Morticia, Tay Tay. Uh, dark elf or wood elf? Uh, wood elf. Yeah, I Kira. Bardo. Bardo. I get it, because it's a bard. <laughs> Ed Bardo. Ed Bardo. <laughs> Elden. That's cute. Xavier. At least I'll be nice. I bought like rope and a freaking fire starting kit, so you guys gotta be nice to me. Keep the names coming, these are good. Xavier. Do you want a more elvish sounding name or does it matter? It doesn't matter. Tiny items that will never have a meaning or use. <laughs> oh wow, this generator generated names for elves that have a romantic and spiritual personality. Ooh. So that sounds good. Jen, pick a letter. <laughs> There are literally no K names on this list, <laughs> but I'll go the closest. J K L M. Ooh, I like that name. What a good random that was. What? I random to a pretty good name. What is it? Uh, Ransom. Ransom. Ooh, that's cool. Uh. Oh, Ransom. <laughs> oh, and it even has meanings to it. That's really cool. Yeah, cool. What's a mess kit, Neil? Um, that's like what you would use to eat food. So it's got like a little wooden bowl. It's got like a knife and fork. It's got yeah, a little I cup that, that you take with you. Of course I got that. Yeah. So. Great if you have a magical spoon that you can put in your wooden bowl. Why can't Too somebody soon. have all the things to be comfortable in life? <laughs> Hinnerdor is a name, but it sounds too much like Hodor. They have a brother sister thing. I wonder if they like have some unique names. Though. That's what I checked. I checked brother. But I feel like maybe I should have checked like marriage. Let's try that. Let's see. Yeah, tried that, and then there's a lot of them that are like marriage-based names. There's still no K names though. Sorry about it, Jen. What is T-O-N-G? T-O-N-G? Tong is like a... Like if you use a tool to pick things up, you're using tongs. Uh, I'll probably buy soap. I don't want to be smelling. <laughs> I love how seriously you're taking this. I just can't <laughs> afford anything. Oh, you guys are going to be smelling as hell. I'm going to smell good. They're going to like me. <laughs> That's why I love you, babe. <laughs> I always, all right, I'm I'm buying the soap. <laughs> Wait, you're buying point, soap? Zero point five gold spent right there. All right, maybe I'll buy some soap too. I don't want to be silly <laughs> girl. I know what I'll call myself. I'll be Efron, like Zach Efron. I'm a little heartthrob. Love it. It sounds totally elfish. I'm looking at Ravenfell, possibly. That could be. Do you like that as a first name or a last name? Um, I was looking at uh, as a first name, but maybe that might work as a last name. Ravenfell. Yeah. What does it mean? Uh, it means wing sister. <laughs> <laughs> what 
What's a signet ring? It's a uh, a ring that has like a particular sigil on it, and usually they use it for a seal, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's usually something that nobility would have to sign so that you can like stamp a, a letter, and people know that it's coming from you because it has your special engravings on it. Can I have that since I said my family was rich? Sure. You want me to pay for it? Yes. <laughs> I hate you. Making you pay I'll for the still, things that you're buying? I'll still buy it anyway. I don't care. Take my five gold. I'll be poor. You ought to be poor. You're level one. Oh, I missed all these good suggestions in, in chat. Ever think of using the level four? Oh. <laughs> Helgrin, Viserin, Gwilin, Natasha, Zephyr, Valorn. That's cool. Chrysanthemum, Elfar, Casimir. No, not Casimir. I know where you came from. Tom, Tarek, Jim. Tarek is cute. I want a goat. <laughs> oh, I like Silidar. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I got everything I need. I have 18 gold point five left. We can buy stuff later if we want to, right? Well, totally. I got all the shit. Yeah. I got like from a tinder box to a mist kit to some soap and a whistle. All right, you guys. You guys get to help me come up with a name now too. My character is a dancer. Plays all the instruments. Very charismatic. That does have a soft spot, of course, for certain intelligent fighters. You know what name I've always loved that's from Star Trek is Kess, K-E-S-S. -S. Oh, Kess is a good one. Yeah. I'm actually on that series right now. I freaking love Voyager, man. I like Voyager a lot. You could be Kess and I could be like Kellen or something. We could be like cute little matching K names. We could do that. Let's do that. And Jen did pick K. That's true. Kess and Kellen. All right. It's pretty good. Is there yeah. other other good Kel or Ke names for a boy? Ke Kel Kim. Keelan. <laughs> Keelan. Oh yeah, Keelan. I don't know. Kellen is cute. Carthus Camishir. Yeah, more K names. Lots of K names, Sonia. I had a character named Sonia once. Sonia Blade. I think I can pick. Azale. Beyonce. Okay. I got my name. I'm missing a family name. Did I even, did I even pick a race, by the way? You're human. Crow. Ooh, crow. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. Found it. Dang Apparently, it. according to this elf name generator, no elves are ever called K names. I'm wondering. You probably just have to find the like. They may not. They may not have they that, sound, have that sound. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't think elves use hard sounds. Yeah, they only use like th and lo and th and th and th and th. Calithriel, Calvum, Calari, Guitar, Kilseth, Bala, Coronas, Tuscan. Kavendathos is what this name generator suggested. Kavendathos. All right, I got a name. What? I will be not exotic. I'll be Olivia. That's um, cute. Uh, I don't know what for the family name. I don't care. Mm. Olivia. 
Kalefar and Kalian. Wait, I'm probably saying that wrong. <laughs> Kyle. All right, well, I like Kess and Kellen. You just need to choose the last name. Perfect. I'll be Olivia Lily just for the. Aww, for the reference. For old, old time's sake, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Olivia. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Do we need anything? Olvari. What's that? Olvari? Olvari. Our last name. Kellen Silvari, Kess Silvari. <laughs> what does that? Silvari mean? Um, it sounds like Slytherin. I just I just looked it up randomly. Silvari are the elves of Autolus. Sorry, given names tend to be flowing and poetic sounding, though they often make use of odd vowel sounds and other combinations. So it's just a type of elf. Surname. <laughs> okay. Names are hard. Do I need anything else, Neil? Um, backstory, personality, life. Yeah, I got all that. Really? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, saving throws. Um, that okay. auto-statter link that I sent you. Yeah, just... I got them. Okay, then you are done, Jen. You can go uh -huh. home. Wow. <laughs> Tell me about you guys, you elves. Are you based around an area? Do you travel around and perform? Hmm. I think, yeah, I think our family's, like, kind of nomadic. I think we travel from town to town like maybe we have a home but we spend very little time there in the year and mostly we're traveling to from village to village doing shows i think we more or less travel a little bit more our parents have kind of settled now and are kind of more in their elvish ways versus us who are like drawn to the world okay um because that's how we would have met our significant others too we would have been like engrossed in our own culture uh, other question for you guys. Do you have any other siblings? Or is it just the two of you? I don't know. Maybe... I feel like it would just be us, unless we had, like, a really younger sibling at home. That's what I was thinking, too. But I kind of think it's just us. That's how I was yeah. perceiving it. Okay, that's fine. Just the two of you. No older siblings that have taken off to go and explore or siblings that passed away? No, nah, maybe we had some, like, close cousins or something okay. that are somewhere, but we don't have any other siblings. Cool. Uh, Jen, you have said a few times that you're from a wealthy family. Yeah. Uh, tell me about your wealthy family. How wealthy are they? Oh my gosh, so wealthy. I guess if I want them to be wealthy and religious could they just like own the town's church or something or like a mm. temple the church something? would be owned by the public but yeah. they could oh they could be a small noble family or maybe like a your one of your parents was a landed knight um and given domain over a certain village um if you don't want to quite be a noble which would probably make a little bit more sense sorry um, what one of your parents either your mother or your father was a, a landed knight which means they're a knight that controls an area and gets to collect taxes and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Um, it makes you not quite a noble, but still coming from a place of power and wealth. Okay, so my mother was a landed knight. Yep, cool. And um, I was raised by a noble, very religious family. Uh, and I'd like to have a big brother also. Fantastic. Yeah. And Trump, who are you? And his name is gonna be Ryan, yes! <laughs> <laughs> My name is Ransom Smith. I come from a family of Smiths. I have a father and a mother who live in a town, uh, one of the towns that these two elves happen to wander by. Maybe they come through this town a few times. 
and I go to their performances each time. Um, yeah, smithing is kind of in my lifeblood. I am a virtuoso smith. Hmm. Okay. The best the family has ever had, and we've been a long generation of them. Okay. Um, and let's talk V and Anna. So V, you play the ocarina, mm-hmm. and you dance. Yes, I Other sing instrument. as well, and I play the harp. So you play the harp, the ocarina, you sing, and you dance. Yes. And Anna, what are you musically, artistically talented as? I use my voice for singing and also spoken word poetry, and I play the lute and hurdy gurdy. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> the hurdy gurdy just gets me. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> Hurdy gurdy. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to cover? I think we're pretty much done. Uh, we we talked a little bit about how we met, but like right. I think we should talk about the relationships. Like how long Ooh. are they brand new? Yeah, that's something good. Also, we have kind of decided that uh, in elven years, you guys are in your early 20s. Like Anna's 23 in elven years and these 21 in elven years, but that translates to like 190 or something. I'll figure out the exact translations in a moment. Um, but you guys are in, you know, you're over a hundred years old. So how are these your first human significant others? Are your, are these your first lovers in general? How is it that the two of you who are so long lived ended up dating humans around the same time? Uh, so elves like mature slower too, though, right? Like we're still young adults. Correct. Uh, I don't think this is my first relationship. I think I've like had, I think I've had little crushes before and like gone on a few dates and stuff, but I'm convinced that this is my first love, like my first real love. Okay. But Uh, who knows? I may have said that before. I'm a very romantic person. Fair enough. Uh, Anna, you are 234 years old. Okay. You want to be uh, 23 in elven years. And V, uh, you are 214 years old if you want to be 21. Okay. Sweet. Um, Jen, we had previously established your age at 35. That is... I'll go with 32. 32, okay. Yeah, I'm already feeling anxious for my character about 32. <laughs> I like a, a mature woman, you know? Trump, you had previously said you're going to be 18. That's right. Okay. <laughs> 18. So, uh, humans... I like them young. Humans, why is it that you are interested in these elves? You know, is this your first serious relationship as well? What's going on here? For me, it is. Um, it's hard not to fall in love with someone who dances so magnificently. Yeah, that's true. She's a beautiful dancer. <laughs> I'm gonna say this because so my character is really passionate character, always looking like for that special spark and that special something. She's been traveling a lot and looking for someone to like keep her attention. So like an elf is really special in itself. So it takes probably a while to discover and understand like the culture. And it's like, a, it's a rock star elf pretty much. So um, I'm pretty sure that like a guitarist type hurdy gurdy <laughs> <laughs> is quite charming to my character. So she kind of, she digs the efforts of grand gesture. Okay. I'm all about the grand gestures. I spend like all my spending money on like getting her stuff, like That's surprise. Why I have, like soap and a whistle and yeah. like, other skin and a quiver and a needle. Like, yeah. Why? I don't know. Because I got you know. gifts, babe. <laughs> Is it scented soap? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like roses. Yeah. Nice. Course. Nice. Not that you smell bad, babe. Just, you know. Oh, it reminded it. me of you. It's a great gift. It's an amazing gift. 
Um, and for me, it's, I am definitely, I would say a very more of a whimsical character, but uh, I had previously, I this isn't my first relationship. I had one horror, but uh, he passed away. <gasps> was he a human Tragic. or an elf? Or what, what race was he? Hurdy gurdy. <laughs> it's not a race. Hurdy gurdy gurdy. He's a hurdy gurdy. <laughs> um, he was an elf. We'll say he was an elf. Was this a, a long thing or was it fairly short? Uh, it was a fairly short and quick. Um, not short and quick, but it's like we fell in love very fast. And we weren't together. Left, we were together less than a year, and then uh, and he was killed. How did he die? He, he didn't get killed. I would say he died from some like really rare, rare sickness. <gasps> so oh, some sickness you had to like watch him and... waste away. Yeah, I had to watch him waste away. And so, how long did it take him to die? It took him. By the time they found out what he had, it took two months. Do, do was he my buddy too, or did I dislike him? He was one of your best friends. Oh my gosh! So I had to go through it too. Mm-hmm. What was and his name? Us, and it brought us closer together as siblings as well. Yeah, we we're already pretty close, but it even brought us closer. So we're like thick as thieves. Right, because um, we've been through that crazy thing together, yeah. and we both lost someone we loved. So we so hold on everything so protective. tight. Yeah, extra protective of each other. What was his name? Um, Someone write this down. <laughs> it was Levin. Ooh, I like it. Okay. Someone write it down so we don't forget. Um, I'm going to write Levin's died. Period. Sad face. Uh, I take it he was Anna's friend, so he was probably older than you? Yes. Okay. Probably not Anna, that big of a... Anna brought him up around as a friend, and then we just... He, like, was kind of around with the whole musical stuff, and, like, yeah, he connected with us to that, and then when we first met, it was, like, sparks flew. He was a drummer. Hmm. Was he from your hometown? Is that where you met him, or did you like meet him on the road? Like, was he also a fellow traveling bard? If he was one of your friends, he was traveling, but he came to our hometown. Which and we like we were on like the same bar. circuit. Yeah, so we would see you... him periodically. Okay. Yeah. So, which is kind of why we like don't don't uh, gravitate towards home as much. Anymore. Right. Okay. Speaking of circuits, I might have been. Like, uh, maybe I started getting infatuated with these characters starting from, like, a young age, like six or something. And each time <laughs> the travel, I would just, like, always watch. You're a super fan. Mm-hmm. And, and then love one it. day you got to meet her as an adult and then fell in love. Exactly. You've been planning that day your whole life. The moment Not you turned 18. at all. <laughs> There is a, a fine line between creepy and romantic sometimes. Yeah. You gotta be just on the right side of it. <laughs> He's just very direct and he knows exactly what he wants. He's very intelligent that way. Mm-hmm. And like, no one's ever been able to pursue me since Levin, so this was like... Speaking of him, how, how long ago did he die? Um, five years ago. Whoa. Well, so you guys are long lived. You're 200 and something years old. So five years isn't that long, mm. right? Um, not to say that yeah. you know that's that's a good gap of time. I mean, it's still five years, but remember that's a yeah, like a, a little less time. Mm-hmm. Or maybe it should be when we were younger then. You think? Mm, yeah, maybe a little longer. Yeah, so like you- 20, 20 years. Still yeah. like a blip for us, but like a while ago. Yeah. yeah. The okay. the conversion rate is like 10.2 elf years to every human year. Or human years to elf years. 10.2 is the conversion. Okay. 
I like that. Um, we can round to ten for ease of everything. That'd be like almost not even two human years then. Right. So twenty years ago would be like a couple years ago for you. Long enough that you have probably gotten over it, but not so long that the impact hasn't, you know, it hasn't faded. Or it's faded enough that you yeah. can move on with your life, but it's still it's still fresh. Mm -hmm. It'll probably be with you for a very long time. Um, so, Jen, how was? Tell me again how it is that you found Anna? Because I remember how Trump came found V, but how did you find Anna? Yeah, it was. Uh, so I'm gonna say that my character is a little bit. So she's all about like passion and instinct. So she was kind of spooked into this little noble society where she had to like portray a nice, proper character with her family. Uh, and then she felt this calling, this voice of for Luna telling her that she needs to do something special in her life. Uh, but she hasn't been doing it in the nicest way, so I feel that she probably left with like some of her family's money. Like, not stealing, but you know, they had money so they left her some. Uh, and she probably leached onto boys for money after that. <laughs> and, and girls, like making friendships and like trying to find people who make her life better and more fun. Uh, and I think she's just been like traveling like that, leeching off people that she meets and kind of likes. And then she met Anna at that show uh, through another guy she has been like following for a little while and kind of just ditched her, him for Anna. Okay. Well, I think that about... Anna's been giving her so many gifts. So now she's pretty pleased with that. Uh, I think we're going to end up exploring the dynamics between your relationships as the game goes along. We probably won't get too much into it now. I think that's something that has to kind of come naturally as you guys play it back and forth. So we'll, I think this is a good start and we'll just kind of see in the first few episodes how it, how it really turns out. Um, I also think that's it for our character creation today. Um, I can't you have think a of... sense of the scene on what will get us out to the adventure. Um, I think there's going to be some family problems for the elves. Uh, and that's going to get them like broken away from their family because they've been kind of working with them and traveling with them. And maybe their parents are a little bit more homebodies these days. But I think we need something like a nice clear break to get the the, the traveling bards out away from home. Um, so we'll, I'll, I'll explore that and send you guys messages over the course of the week. And then we'll come into game either when you guys are out on the road or with that instigating event, um, one or the other. Uh, are there any other questions? We still need our last name. Right. We can just think on it and come back to it. Yeah. That's cool. Good. Okay. So um, that's it for the character creation. Tune in next week for the first true episode of Miss Click's D and D and D, Click's D and D <laughs> devotion. Um, that's it, guys. We hope you are as devoted to this as we. Uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs>